Welcome back everyone. Uh, today is Cozy Jumper Day. I recorded this video between Christmas and New Year and in the kitchen over there, the water for my coffee is already boiling. I'll pick that up in a second. If you've lived through the same year 2020 as I have, then maybe you have your own conclusions on New Year's resolutions and what to do for 2021. And it's very tempting to say, let me just dig out the old ones from 2020 because I couldn't achieve them anyway. So it's worthwhile trying them again. Or you put your head in the sand and say, well, let's hope for the best. Let me do my New Year's resolution as best as I can, as I've done every year. And then we see what happens. Or maybe you concluded that they're all nonsense. Let's just do away with them. But I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to know whether the year 2020 has taught me something about making better New Year's resolutions. Let me grab that coffee from the kitchen and let's dive straight into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. That's better. Now, before we start, two quick things. Number one, you know that we do a lot of content on leadership. And if you want to know about resolutions for leaders for the new year, then that video is dropping early next week. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single episode. And having said that, the other thing I wanted to share is that going forward, we'll produce two videos a week, or uh, at least attempt to produce two videos a week. So if you hit that subscribe button, you will miss nothing. So the things I want to touch upon are work goals, life goals and goal flexibility. We make our work resolutions often based on what we know about the industry, our profession and our work environment in the year that is coming. And that makes perfect sense. So often we sit down and we look at this fancy new job that we pursue, or maybe we are eyeing up the promotion. And of course, 2020 has taught us that when something extraordinary happens, those opportunities and those visions can very quickly disappear and we end up being a little bit disappointed. What I suggest is making a New Year's resolution about skills rather than something very specific in your work environment. See, if you develop skills, if you focus on what you can contribute to a company or greater society as a whole, then you have a much greater chance to achieve that in the coming year because, well, skills never get old. Yes, you may get fired from a job. You may not be able to pursue certain things because we were all locked in our homes. But skills you can always develop. You can sit in front of a computer and watch a YouTube video or go on to Skillshare, which promotes a lot of the stuff that's happening today. Now, if you do that and you develop a skill, that is something that not only helps you throughout the year, but it will help you to develop and grow in the years to come. The second thing I wanted to talk about are life goals. So maybe you had New Year's resolutions to make this perfect trip away, go on a fantastic holiday. Maybe you had plans to learn to scuba dive or learn to ski. And of course, 2020 happened and none of it was possible. And again, we become frustrated. What about this? What about if we choose resolutions that we can actually integrate into our daily lives, where we don't have to go away for 10 days, where we don't have to take vacation to do them, but things that we can integrate into our lives every day, because no matter what happens, that will always be possible. And so if we find something that makes us happy in the moment, if we, for example, go out into the countryside and have a walk or a hike, if we go out, I know this gets old, but go out and feed the ducks and that makes us happy or just sit there on a bench with our cup of coffee and that is something that we enjoy we can integrate those things in our daily life so don't put your life on hold just for the next vacation the next holiday something that may be interfered with through the pandemic or whatever comes next but Take something that you know you can integrate into your daily life. And if you can do that as a New Year's resolution, then you will also have a far better chance to achieve that as well. Famous quote here, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. With that quote being said, let me talk a little bit about goal flexibility. Often when we are faced with changing circumstances, we are very quick to discount something that we set ourselves as a goal. 2020 happened, I can't go on holiday. 
2020 happened and I can't get that new promotion. But what if we sat down every single month and asked ourselves the goals that I've set for myself? Can I achieve them in a slightly different manner? Now you're giving your brain an order to start thinking flexibly about your goals, about your resolutions. And if you do that, then no matter what change in circumstances there is, your brain will automatically want to find a different solution to it. And yes, maybe you can't go on holiday, but you can go on a hike. Maybe you can't get that job promotion, but suddenly you realize that you can develop a new skill and that will lead to a higher income in the future. In any event, if you sit down every month and ask yourself, how can I achieve this same goal, this resolution that I set to myself in a slightly different way, you train your brain to have that flexibility to react purposefully to the changes in circumstance. And now life isn't that 10% that happens to you anymore. It's the 90% of how you react to it. Now then, as I said, next week, we have the video dropping on New Year's resolution for leaders. Make sure you're not missing that. Hit that subscribe button as well. Much appreciated. And as always, I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, my name is Kai Der Gleifert and I wish you a very happy, a very prosperous new year 2021.